Microsoft Clarity API is now required in the European economic area, United Kingdom and Switzerland. So if you have visitors from those regions, you have to implement it now. Microsoft is enforcing this on October 31st, 2025. And if you have already implemented Clarity Consent in the past, you might still need to update because right now Clarity Consent API is version 2. What will happen if you don't implement? Well, there will be many limitations. For example, each page view will generate a new user and a new session. You will not be able to track multi-page funnels, pages per session will be always one, and so on. The list is pretty long. So if you want to avoid this, then watch the entire video because I will talk about several options. Go to Microsoft Clarity and click on a project where you want to configure consent. Then click Settings and Setup. Here we have a section mentioning cookies. By default, cookies are set in the browser, but if you disable them, then it means that you have enabled a Clarity Consent mode. Now, I have to admit that Microsoft is also not very good with naming conventions, just like Google is, because there is also Consent mode for Microsoft Ads, even though technically they look a bit different. In their documentation, Microsoft says that Consent mode is enabled by default in European Economic Area, United Kingdom, and Switzerland, which means that when this is disabled, it means consent mode is enabled. However, now when I'm recording this video, it seems that this automatic enablement is still not available because when this is enabled, then I still get cookies, even though I am browsing from one of these regions right here. So I assume that this will go live at some point in the future. So in the meantime, I will just disable cookies like this. So when this is done, Microsoft Clarity will no longer set cookies immediately when it is loaded on a page. So let me show you that. Here I have a Google Tag Manager demo container. Inside that container, I have Microsoft Clarity installed. And now I will click Preview to enable the preview mode. Then I will enter my website URL, click Connect. And I see that Tag Assistant has connected. The tag has fired. And if I go to the website, open Developer Tools, then go to Application, cookies, select my domain, and then look for cookies called underscore CLCK or underscore CLSK, they're not available here. This is because we have disabled cookies right here. So this is how the consent mechanism works so far. Microsoft Clarity loads, cookies are not set, the visitors are still tracked, but since there are no cookies, each page view will generate a new user and a new session because there are no cookies to stitch those page views into a single coherent session. So now let's take a look at what can you do in order to inform Clarity when consent is given because once that is done, then cookies will be set automatically. Mainly, there are three options. The first one is Google Consent Mode. If you already have implemented Google Consent Mode on your website, then there's nothing else you should do. Microsoft Clarity will take that information automatically and update its cookie consent settings as well. However, when I'm recording this video right now, this feature is still in development. In their documentation, Microsoft is saying that this feature is expected to be available somewhere mid-September. So if you're watching this video after that, then most likely Google Consent Mode support is already in place and you will just need to verify that it is working properly. Later in this video, I will show you the process of verification. So to sum up so far, if you're using Consent Mode and you're watching this video after mid-September, then you will probably not need to do anything else. By the way, I will post all links to the documentation below the video. The next option, which also does not require any additional configuration from you, is that maybe you're using a supported consent management platform. Because if you do, it means that your consent management platform already uses the consent API of Microsoft Clarity and sets appropriate signals. Right now, when I'm recording this video, only Cookie Yes is mentioned as a supported CMP, which means that if Cookie Yes is loaded and if the visitor clicks I agree, then Microsoft Clarity will also get that consent signal. In the near future, it looks like CookieBot and OneTrust will also get that support. And maybe if you're watching this video further in the future, maybe there are more consent management platforms that are supported. So I guess you could take a look at this documentation right here, or maybe you can investigate your own cookie consent pop-up provider and ask them if they have support for Microsoft Clarity. 
But what if you are not using Google consent mode and you're not using a supported consent management platform? In that case, your option is to create a manual setup. And this is the essence of this video tutorial. Here I am in my Google Tag Manager container. I have installed a Cookie Hub CMP. Maybe in the future they will also have Microsoft Clarity integration, but right now they don't. So I think they are perfect for this example. Now let me show you what kind of information does it make available when consent is given or not given. I will click preview to refresh the preview mode. And right out of the box, I see some consent related stuff. So one of the events is cookie consent update. And here, if I go to variables or actually data layer, I will see that most of the consent groups are denied or false. There is no consent for analytics and there is no consent for marketing. Also on a website, the cookie consent pop-up is displayed right here. Now, if I click allow all cookies, then we get another cookie consent update event. And here in the data layer, we see all consent groups as true, which means that consent was granted. So basically what we could do is to fire a particular code that informs Microsoft Clarity about consent state. And we could do that on the consent update event. We have one right here when everything is denied. And then we have another one where everything is granted. And if at some point consent changes again, then cookie hub consent update event would fire again. And then we would inform Microsoft Clarity as well. In the documentation, Microsoft says that if you want to inform Microsoft Clarity about consent, you have to use this command right here. You have to send the value of add storage and analytics storage. Please note that there are uppercase S right here and right here. So if you want to inform about consent given to both ads and analytics storages, then your code would look something like this. If you were already sending consent information to Clarity, but your syntax looks different, it looks something like this, then it means that you're using version one of Clarity Consent API. It still works for now, but in the future it will be deprecated. So ideally you should migrate to Clarity Consent API version two with the following syntax. So this is the command that we are going to use. However, the challenge here is that we have granted here or denied, but at least in my case, the cookie hub is pushing true or false. Therefore, I will need to use some custom code that changes true to granted and false to denied. Below this video, you will find a code for that. It's a fairly simple code, but basically we will need to read first the information of ad storage and analytic storage in the data layer, which is right here. And then the code, when it is fired, it will send that information to Microsoft Clarity. So first let's create two variables. One is for ad storage. The other one is for analytic storage. In the data layer, we have these two, at least in my case, I have cookie hub analytics and cookie hub marketing. In your case, you might have a different variable naming convention. So you will need to adapt, but first I will click this and copy cookie hub analytics, then go to Google tag manager, then variables, user defined variables, click new variable configuration, and then data layer variable here. I will enter this and then name the variable and click save. Then I will repeat the process for the marketing variable. I will create a new variable, which is data layer variable. And this is the name of the variable and click save. Now I will copy that code, the entire code right here, because we will be firing this code every time we have a cookie hub consent update. In your case, maybe you will have a different event, but basically the goal here is to fire that code when the consent status is known and we are sure that it is fully updated. So in my case, I have this event. Now I will go to tags, click new tag configuration, custom HTML and paste that code. Oh, sorry. Nope. Let me copy it again. All right, paste it right here. Then I will replace this with the cookie hub marketing because ad storage is related to marketing. Then I have this and I will insert analytics. 
then let's set the stack to fire on the event, which in my case is cookie hub consent update. So I will copy that and I will create a new trigger, which is custom event with this name. Now let's give it a name, hit save, and it is added right here. Then finally, I will name this, let's say chtml clarity consent, and I will hit save. One more thing to mention. If in your data layer, you have not true or false, but you have granted or denied, which is the correct values that Microsoft is asking you to send, then you don't need to use this code. You will need to use a simpler option, which I will show you very soon. So for now, I will save this. And let me quickly show you what would be the code in the custom HTML tag if your data layer contained granted or denied instead of true or false. Because the whole purpose of this particular custom HTML tag is to turn true into granted or to turn false into denied. So if your data layer has granted or denied, then your custom HTML tag would look like this. You just have script, then the closing script tag, then you go to the documentation and you copy this code right here and paste it like this then you can replace this with a variable for marketing and this with a variable for analytics. And that's it. Because in your case, these variables would return granted or denied. But in my case, I am using that longer code because I have true and false. All right. So now let's test if this is working. I will click preview to refresh the preview mode. Oh, and I forgot to delete the consent cookie so that I see the consent pop up. And then I will also delete if I have the clarity cookies. And let's start again. So I will clear here, I will refresh the page, and I see the cookie consent pop up. Now, first, I already have the cookie consent update, my tag fired. But if I go to variables, my variables have false values. So consent is not given. If I go to the website, open developer tools, then go to application, and then check in the cookies section, if I have CK and CLSK, they are kind of created, but they are empty. I'm not sure if this is expected behavior. Normally, I would have expected to not have cookies at all. But anyway, we don't have any information right here. So technically, cookies are not used. There's also one more option how to check that I can go to console, clear the console and then in the documentation, which talks about clarity consent mode, then here I have a code that you can run in the console. So copy that code, then go to the website, paste that code, and it logs that consent status is denied. So far so good. I have not given consent yet. Now I will click allow all cookies. And I see that consent is now granted, it is locked in the console. Also, if I go to application, I will see that both cookies now have values. So this is correct. And now if I went to the next page, the process will repeat again. What is important to note is that the custom HTML tag using the Microsoft clarity function, which is right here window.clarity. So this code, or that simpler code that I showed before, it must be fired after Microsoft Clarity is loaded. In my case, this is correct because my Microsoft Clarity tag fires on initialization. Here it is. And then my custom HTML tag fires later on Cookie Hub consent update event. There is a bug in the preview mode. Sometimes tags are displayed as unknown tag type, but this is a temporary bug and you should not care about it that much. After several minutes, it should go away or maybe you can close the preview mode, start again and it should start working fine. So this was the verification process. The same process can be applied if you are using a verified consent management platform or in the future if consent mode becomes supported. I mean, Google consent mode. Basically, you should check if cookies are set when consent is given and if they are not set when consent is not given. And also you can use that console command where you can check the current status. If you need more information, then I will post links to the documentation below this video. And that is how you can configure Consent API version 2 for Microsoft Clarity. In general, you have three options. Google Consent Mode, Consent Management Platform supported by Clarity, or a manual setup. Your goal here is to make sure that Clarity does not set cookies if consent is not given. 
If you found this video useful, hit the like button. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4 or Microsoft Clarity, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.